know what that time is. It is definitely time to rock and roll with the Go Team. All right, so um, first of all, I'm going to uh, share just a, this. Lots of fun. Okay, ready? You can see. Hey, it's my friend Liz. Hey. My friend. She's my friend Liz. This is Liz Gaber, y'all. Party at Liz's. Party at Liz's because Dan's internet is dead. <laughs> dead. And I came out here, like, so I'm on my way to, to come and uh, to come out here, which is exciting. And literally, not kidding, four cop cars blocking the road on the way to get get here. And I was like, what is going on? And I was like wondering if like Liz has got like a meth lab going on in her house or something, whatever. Just a small one though, she said. So that was good. Um, but anyway, so we're here. Uh, it's it's awesome. And so yes, welcome to the Go Team Coach Call for um, Monday, May eighteenth, guys. We're gonna have a great night tonight. I'm uh, gonna try to keep things yes, pretty much nice boat. Uh, yeah, that is a pirate. Like pirate, pirate we want to put like pirate here. stuff. This is amazing. <laughs> Seriously, you guys, like I'm in the. This is her husband's office. We got like just like samurai sword <laughs> like here. There's ammunition. <laughs> there's like I mean, well, it's all in a safe. But anyway, and there's like karate stuff. All yeah. it's, it's pretty intense. And then there, but yet there is a, a book called The Art of Peace, just right here, just next to it all. So, which is kind of ironic, but it is, it is, it is cool. He does. He needs that to live with Liz. All right. Very cool. Guys, welcome tonight. I uh, want to uh, just to welcome you, especially want to shout out to the new coaches who are on board. I think y'all are more established. Uh, Debbie's a little bit newer and Olga's definitely new. So welcome you guys. Thanks for being part of our call. Thanks for being part of this team that's building and growing. And we are just hopefully increasing value to each day. We want to equip busy coaches uh, with the essentials to build thriving businesses and help people achieve their goals and live healthy and fulfilling lives. So we are really out this particular, uh, this or this particular, um, you know, where we're moving forward here is we want to be equipping you guys with essentials to help you build your businesses. And that's what we're about. So we're going to visit for just a quick second. We're going to visit back to the three vitals. I want to have a refresh because it's always important to come back to the basics and the, the more we practice the basics. So, uh, those of you guys who are, um, uh, like bear Bryant, uh, football fame, this is Bama, um, lots of and, and other great football coaches. Okay. Um, the stories about uh, these guys when they got their players, get their players going, ready for a game, okay, or actually ready for a season. They would start literally with the fundamentals, the basics of the X's and the O's, and what direction they need to go in, and how you're basically trying to advance the football down the field. Now, initially, it's like that's one of those crazy things where you go like, wait a minute, coach, we're like doing crazy complex plays. And like crazy passing structure and, and blocking structures that are completely crazy and complex, but yet the coaches would always bring it back to the basics because they wanted their players to remember that the fundamentals, if we build on the fundamentals and those fundamental concepts, then we're going to be successful. So we're going to visit the vital behaviors here real quick. Don't touch it. Okay. So number one um, is for vital, vital behavior of a- Find the remote so I can turn it up that the products work. Now, I'm gonna advance this just for just a small bit here because I want you to realize that it goes beyond the products. It is very important to use the products, but it really is also where products of the process, products of the process. So when we invite people to Anybody? challenge, body challenge or challenge groups, we also need to be products of those challenge groups. So we can't be just kind of like those people who are like, passive observers or the I'm the uh, like the omniscient people within our groups where it's like oh well I'm really not focusing on my nutrition now because I'm focusing on everybody else's and making sure that they're doing uh, yes we sure can everyone's not on mute um, I'm probably not hearing that thank you um, let me do that real fast manage participants mute all thank you very much all right so you guys got that? It's important for us to have, uh, to be proof that the products works, but also the process work. So when we're in challenges, guys, active participant, 
If you're asking people to post their results, if you're asking people to report their measurements, if you're asking people to make sure that they're drinking their Shakeology and reporting on that, by all means, you've got to demonstrate it. If you don't demonstrate it, they're going to follow the pace of the leader. So if they don't see you doing it, eh, why would you really worry about it? Not a really big deal. Blah, blah, blah. So make sure you're doing that, okay? Products of not only the product, but also the process, okay? Number two, committing to personal development. Just talking to my good friend Liz here. Say hi, Liz. Hey. Okay. Um, so <laughs> Liz was listening because we recommended uh, a great book by Norman Vincent Peale called The Power of Positive Thinking. And quick story. So go. Liz, tell us oh, your quick story oh, about what, right. what you just experienced here in just a couple minutes ago. Um, I listened to it yesterday, actually, for most of the day. Mm -hmm. And part of that is I went downstairs to work out. And I am not exactly where I want to be fitness-wise. I have been there before, but I've got to get back there. Anyway, um, I went downstairs. I was working out. There's a mirror in front of me, and I'm checking my form and all that. And I actually saw myself much thinner than... I am. Or so, where your or goal is. Where my goal. goal is. I saw yeah. myself going towards my goal. Yeah. Very surreal. Surreal guess, moments. Yeah. Thing. It's pretty cool. And, yeah. and so the power of positive thinking is really a, just a powerful book. If you've not read it, it's really, really fantastic because you're getting your mind rewired because I, most of us guys are so constantly critical of ourselves. We're constantly critiqued. So we're, if you guys remember the Muppets, Okay, so remember the Muppets, <laughs> and you remember the two hecklers. There's like the two, hey, hey, yeah, that's like you know, up in the up in the balcony, always heckling Kermit and his friends, and it's like, oh, we're short, ha. you know, whatever. And uh, so that kind of voice is going on inside our heads all the time. If we can silence, now we, what we can say is like, oh, I just want that voice silenced. Eh, that's harder to do. It's easier to replace that voice with a positive voice that affirms the good things that are happening in your life. And just like Liz mm -hmm. mentioned, to see the positive, to see where you're headed. So committing to personal development each day. I recommended this uh, yesterday. Some of you took me up on that. Is Dar Darren Hardy's quick five minutes uh, video each day. And uh, today he challenged us. Um, gosh, I've, I've done so much today. I've, I've also read some other things. Uh, what was it today? It was... Um, uh, oh, he was, it's kind of like the whole idea of he's talking to college people who are uh, graduating college in like what they kind of visualized and, and the importance ultimately of developing yourself. And so like investing in that is really critical. So maybe some of you, it's just to invest in an audible membership. Maybe it's just, you need to be, be able to get onto a, uh, and, and find some good books, um, and, and make that investment in a few of the top books that, that are out there and, and look at personal development, the top 10 list. Of a bit for people who are developing businesses. That may be something that you can look at. Okay. Then the last one, of course, inviting. Invite, invite, invite. Invite people to be your friends, first of all. Invite people to challenges and then invite people to the coaching opportunity. That's what those three invites stand for. And that regular basis of doing that is going to increase your business. We're going to talk more about that. So I'm not going to hit extremely on that right now, but it's really, really important to be an inviter and to be part of that process as we go. I'm going to give you a quote to grow on, speaking of personal development, and it relates specifically to our book uh, from Go For No by Andrea Waltz and Richard Fenton. The two letters standing between you and your next breakthrough are N and O. We'll get more into what that means. And so some, some points people like go, oh, no, it's, so, it's like so negative. It's so it's so the bad side of that. We'll talk about how we're flipping our brains and how we can flip our brains into a sense of finding no actually as a positive. And I, I think you'll hopefully find that if you've not heard this, particularly when it comes to uh, the book, Go For No, I think you're gonna find this really, really helpful. Now, unfortunately, I because I transferred to Liz's, I don't have my chat shout out music. So let's all sing it. It's the chat shout out, the chat shout out, the chat shout out, it's the chat shout out. Okay, there you go. Uh, that's that's about all we got in that was pretty sorry um but we do have boats behind us so that pretty much <laughs> we've got those boats two boats okay <laughs> here we go which like makes it all that much better um okay so chat shout out um i want to give you guys all a chance in the chat please if you would and we're gonna get more into this because i am investing in my personal development which is going to invest in you because you're gonna see some things coming down the pipe here pretty soon. I wanna have you 
give me one word that describes you in the chat. One word that is a positive that describes you. Go. One word that describes you. Liz is just going to say it. Oh, energetic. Energetic, says Liz. Hopeful, says Risa. Listener, Claire, very good. Consistent, Deb. Giver, Bailey, good work. This is an all skate, as they say, so I'm going to wait for everybody. Energizer, mm-hmm. Determined, says Bryce, very, very good. Awesome. Good stuff. Debbie, you got one, I'm sure. I, did I see you? Debbie Richardson, you got one? It's all good. Driven, very good. And Bonnie Yoder, I think you're probably in there somewhere too as well. We'll get you. I know what yours is. I, I definitely know one I would call of you. But um, So, Bonnie, if you, if you get a chance, that would be great. Um, I would say for me, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to say two words. Um, catalytic leader is, is probably my, uh, some of my, one of my words that I want, would love to be true of me. And I think it's, it's true of me. I like to be a catalyst and, um, and to do that. So that's, that's awesome. And we're going to get more into how those words that you just specifically spoke of can target the people who are going to be interested in your help. So I would tell you to look, start looking around for people who have, <laughs> there we go, distracted, says Lindsay. Very good. Also authentic. Uh, very good. Just one word. I'm sorry, Bailey. I know I told you. Um, but I want you to start looking for people around you with, you would say, similar DNA when it comes to that word. Similar DNA, and I'm betting that you can probably help them. I'm betting that you can probably help them, and you could probably relate to them. So as a catalytic leader, I'm looking for other catalytic leaders that might be able to join me in this thing, particularly when it comes to your coaching asks, okay? If you're looking at your challenge groups, let's say consistency is your one of your hallmarks, okay? Let's say consistency is. Look for other really consistent people. Because those are the type of people who are going to be wanting to join you on your team. Now, you're going to attract somebody different than Dan. Consistency, I am I'm decently consistent, but I wouldn't say it's my top one. Okay? So maybe uh, um, motivator, encourager, that kind of a thing. That might be more someone who is, is, is in, that, in that realm for me. So just realize that your uniqueness is the strength that you can bring to this business. And you don't need to couch like somebody else. You can certainly take ideas from everybody else, but your particular flavor of coaching is going to be determined by who you are and what your strengths are. Okay, great. Now we're moving on to this. Okay, so free challenge. Free challenge follow-up. How many of you are experiencing some degree of, uh, hopefully you experience some degree of success, uh, with the plank challenge and um, we did have that follow-up day so you know that that is that is there if you did not post that and it has like I, it mentions like it has the whole playlist set for you of all the challenge videos that people then can can use for the future that's great as well um, adding value and then now if you it, and we mentioned this in the groups or excuse uh, sorry in the coach document but you can take that particular challenge playlist okay and you can copy that and say, hey, just following up with you on the challenge. Wanted to make sure you got a chance to see the playlist. Here's all the workouts. So you're once again adding value to the people that you've you coached through that time. And whether or not they completed the challenge, get them that playlist. Because then you're adding value to them. And it also gives you a chance to then follow up about our upcoming June 1st challenge that's coming up. Okay, so you've got about a week or so, a week from today-ish, in terms of si to, to get them signed up. This is going to help you get towards Success Club. Those of you guys are working towards Success Club, add that value. Say, look, here's the challenge. Here's this thing. Love to, love to, uh, uh, you know. So you give them the the playlist, and then you say, hey, we're starting a new challenge um, that's going to be a, a. You can mention it premium, so it saves you a little bit of breath in terms of being confused as this is another free challenge, a premium. 21 J challenge, which gives, you know, dials in nutrition workouts are a little bit, a little bit more extensive 
It's starting on June 1st. Wondered if you'd like to hear a little bit more about it. That's it, okay? No salesy, don't mention the price, don't mention anything that's like, oh my gosh, you gotta buy this now before we get it, we're gonna be in time. Nothing like that. All you're doing is asking for information. And then you can take them through the five-step invite process, which is um, located in the Coach Club, Go Team Coach Club. It's under five-step invite process. <gasps> Amazing! Oh, we categorize these things. Okay, so there you go. So that'll be great for you. Free challenge. Please capitalize on it. Don't do a free challenge and get all those people in there and then don't follow up with them. It's crazy. Then you're just like doing work for nothing. Um, make sure you make sure you follow up. Okay. Success club for the month of May. So far, we've got more people added to the three lies and above club. All right, give it up for. Um, I'm yes, I'm there. Okay, great. Um, but but give it up for Sheila Beeler and Risa Bates. Let's give it up for them making the three lies. And then we're gonna. I'll list all these people very quickly. We got Tyler, Eric. Emily, Stephanie Morris, uh, Carrie, Ashley, Angela, Rosalind, Asha, Christina, and Stacy Reed, all in the One Life Club. Fantastic, you guys are great. Okay, if you're seeing a couple weeks and you're not on this list, you have a, about a week and a half-ish, I mean, actually, technically, you got a full two weeks. Okay, really, two weeks to change that. Two weeks to change that. You have the pressure of the end of the month, which is great. That'll put a little bit of pressure on you. This team is a success club team. We hit success club on the go team, okay? This doesn't mean that it's because of we want to absolutely win the bobblehead or win. I, I did win one, though. So I won the Shailene big eyebrow bobblehead, pretty much modeled after my big eyebrows, which is cool. Um, but we want to make sure that you are knowing that that three lives and above Three lives and above is not only going to build your business, but it's going to exponentially help people because as you help those three people, then they get progress. And I've just had already first first week in our challenge last week that we just we started. I got a gal lost three pounds, eight inches, eight inches in one week around her body. Do you think she's excited? Yes, she's excited. Do you think she's a potential person to eventually be a coach? Yes. Okay. We get them success. We help them guy. That's why I love the 21 day fix. Gives that structure, gives them quick progress quickly. And it gives them guys a story to tell quickly, right? 21 days microwave. She can talk about by the end of this, I'm betting she's probably gonna lose somewhere around eight to 10 pounds, probably ish. I'll bet. And she'll probably lose somewhere around 15 ish to 16 ish inches all across her body. I'm just I mean, guessing on that. You think that's going to wake somebody up to be able to tell. And so she's got a story then to tell and a testimonial, okay? And I want to ask you guys also, making sure that you've got not only your own testimonials, but the testimonials of your customers. So I'm going to share that testimonial. And what do you think that's potentially going to do for a person who might want to consider coaching? I share that testimonial and they get all this feedback. Oh my gosh, amazing, great job, great job. It strokes their ego, and it's a great thing, and then that motivates them maybe to consider the coaching opportunity because they go, oh, hey, you've got people asking you already, like, how did you do it? What did you do? Well, I just did this 21-day program. And, well, can you help them do that like we did and put them in a group like ours? Yeah, absolutely. They're going to be that much more apt to develop into coaches, okay, because that's what we really want you to be able to do. We don't want you earning, you know, you could hit Success Club 20 every month and just have customers. And then you're going to be a retailer for the rest of your life. We want you to benefit from the residual income of building your coach teams, okay? Long term in this, so you're not having to go, oh my gosh, I have to make you know success club 20 each month in order to, to pull off any income, okay? The residual income is where it's at. We want you getting into that. If you don't understand it, we'll make sure you do. We'll be make sure we're, we're posting you can YouTube this. Um, just go. How to earn money with Beachbody, bam, and you can see how that, that the team cycle bonuses work, okay? Really great stuff. All right, on to our call. This is good stuff. Breaking through rejection, go for no. How many of you, when you first were approached with anything that has to do with Beachbody, actually said no? 
first, when you first were approached with something like this, how many of you said, eh, and you looked at the price and you said, mm, eh, I'm not going to do it. Anybody? This question. You? Did you say yes? Yeah, I did. She said yes. That's okay. Yep, I remember Claire said no. She was, she was hesitant. Yeah, very much so. I told my coach, David, flat out. He said, Get to, you ever consider Shakeology? I was, I was doing P90X because I was looking at the programs. He said, Shake, you mentioned Shakeology? Yep. And I go, I'm like, dude, I'm not doing that. No way. No one's paying no, that much money. No yeah, there. So no to Shakeology. Yep. There we go. No yeah. to coaching for Lindsay. Very good. Said maybe. No to Shakeology. Yeah. So here's the deal. We're all here because probably our coach persisted. Okay. Persisted through the no was able to cast the vision beyond the no. And we're going to talk a little bit about what that looks like here tonight. Okay. So I'm going to ask you the question, what is the number one reason people hate the idea of being a salesperson? Ask that in there. Uh, I don't want to give it away with the things here. What's the number one reason why people don't want to be a salesperson? Rejection. Being pushy. Yep. Good. Probably because everybody's experienced the worst side of that, right? Not being kind. Experience the like kind of the motives. Um, it's the um, if you've ever been in the mall, right? And they're less on this than they used to be, but it's like the Mediterranean sea salt people, like literally attacking you to give you their samples to be able to get that right. Uh, so really not caring yet, and it's yeah, not caring out for you, out for themselves, not out for you, and it's so it's kind of icky. Very good, okay. And it really is, guys. It has everything to do, though, from the salesperson's perspective, the person who's be a prospective salesperson. It has everything to do with this fear of rejection. No one likes to be a person who is is rejected. And so, especially, you know, here's the thing. Think about this. You're early in the process as a coach. You don't quite have the okay. So just saying, I've been in this for three years now, um, and I've been doing this quite a while. Do you think my belief not only in the products, but the process is pretty strong? Would you agree? Yep. Okay, so it's pretty strong. My belief's pretty strong. But you get somebody who's new to the business, and they get started in this. How much, how strong do you think their belief is? Okay, let's say they've been using Shakeology for two months. Two months. I mean, that maybe that's an average. Two, three months. And maybe they've done one beach body program, maybe they're in 21 day fix, maybe they've just purchased their second one. How strong do you think their belief is yet in the whole thing? What do you think? You can type it in the, in the chat. Not very strong. Yeah. Okay. I'm stating the obvious here. I don't want to get a rhetorical question. You guys understand. Their belief is probably not super strong. So they approach their friends, the people who mean the most to them right? The people whose opinion probably matters the most, you reach out to dad, reach out to a cousin who's friend, reach out to a brother, reach out to a sister. The opinion means most to them with this opportunity or even just like the idea of a, of a, of a program. And they reject them. No way. I can't believe you're getting involved in one of those things. Oh, it's so horrible. Yeah, you're, you're just getting, you know, because they've been sold soap before, They've been sold Pampered Chef stuff, not just cut on Pampered Chef. Sorry for those of you who are Pampered Chef people or, you know, whatever given uh, multi-level company that they've been approached by and they have a bad experience. And so then they want to guard you from it, right? They want to say, whoa, you're not going to do that. We don't want you to do that because then you're going to be all salesy. And then everybody who sees you is going to think that you're all you're all going to be about is whenever they see you is that you just want to come here for a sale, right? Yep, pyramid scheme is definitely what which, what everybody hears, okay? There's definitely a way to talk about that. I'm not going to go into that specifically right now, but we can talk about, uh, there, there is training specifically when, when talking about how Beachbody is completely different than a pyramid scheme in terms of like the idea that fund, or that actual goods are exchanged, we're a triple, uh, we're a triple mm -hmm. A or A plus rated Better Business Bureau company, so lots, lots of great stuff, okay? So, Here's where we've got it. I want to talk to you about the fear of rejection, okay? What we need to do, understand, is that 
often our uh, fear of rejection has more to do with our own insecurities than genuinely helping others. So here's the issue. You've seen success with whatever given program. You've had some, had some success with it. You've actually seen other people's success. You've even gotten on YouTube. You've seen other people's success with whatever given program. But then it comes time to ask those people. And you're more concerned about how they think of you, right, than ultimately really helping them maybe take a step. And I know initially that's that jump that's like, nah, it's so cringeworthy because you're like, ah, I don't want to do this because I don't want them to be mad at me or whatever. We can help you, of course, how to approach that. So you're not coming off as, hey, I want you to buy this thing. Like that's your best, best vision cast as to like what Beachbody is about, right? That would be horrible, okay? So what we want to do is approach it from a way that, of course, is going to be a lot less um, threatening and just say, hey, I'd love for you to check this out. I'd love to see your opinion. You va I value you so much in this, and I'm looking for people who are going to be my testimonials in this. That's a really great approach for the people who are closest to you. I'm looking for some people to be testimonials for me in this because I really believe in this, and I've gotten a great, a great experience with this with myself. I've lost X amount of pounds, inches, however you want to say it, body fat, anything like that. I have a mini story to tell and then be able to say, I'm looking for more testimonials, guys. And I, I, I value you so much and I really would love for you to experience this with me. Would you come along? Would you be interested in hearing a little bit more? Okay. That starts to become a little bit less salesy now. But that, I mean, that's a specific technique. That's not specifically talking about go for none. Now, what we need to do is to, is to recondition our sense of hearing the word no, okay? Desensitize ourselves from the negative emotion of hearing no. Because here's the thing, guys, and we probably understand this. I'm going to state the obvious for you if you are in this. No doesn't always mean no. No usually means not now. Okay, no usually means not now. And even with the strongest of people who have like, maybe they're doing something else or maybe they're, you know, or maybe they're adamantly against spending any money on health and fitness because that should be free. You can eat chicken and salads and then you can go out and run and it's for free, right? And are they really doing it? Of course, that's the question often that hits. But what we need to do is desensitize ourselves from the negative motion of no. Because what we're going to be doing now is flipping our brains into the idea that no is actually a good thing to hear. Because what it does, guys, is it starts to help you understand who's in and who's not in. But here's the thing. If you, ask, if you don't ask, you will never know no or yes. It will always be a maybe, I don't know, could be, maybe not, Okay. And the thing is, as you're contacting people around you and as you're trying to experience, and that's why we do our free challenges so it's not completely cold calling, right? So having to like cold call your whole friend, Facebook friends list, kind of sending the messages, that's, that is a little bit scary sometimes. But that's what free challenges are really great for too. You've got this free challenge and then you can just start with that. And that, honestly guys, my history of doing that for months and months and months and months of doing that has opened so many doors for me. I'm, I'm just being real on that. By offering that genuine value month in, month out, month in, month out, they know I'm not in this just to be a salesperson. I'm out, I'm out to ab absolutely get them progress towards their goals. I'm just trying to find out who's interested and when they're interested. And if we're consistent enough and providing those challenges on a month to month basis, that no for the month of May might turn into a maybe for the month of June, but is oh almost certain for the month of July, but hey, I'm heading back into school, month of August. Yep, I'm gonna do it in August. I don't know, that might be a pattern. I'm just throwing that out for you, so it could be. So let's talk a little bit about what it might look like to then, um, oh, oh sorry, so here's another side. So desensitizing ourselves to the, to the no, and this is all again from the book, Go For No. Highly recommend this. We're going to talk about that in a second, but we do want you to somehow either listen or get this book on your Kindle, buy it for the hard copy, whichever one, Amazon. I think it's like $8.99 is the Kindle copy. Uh, Audible has it for, 
I think six ninety five or something like that. If you get their membership deal and or it can be free actually if it's your first book uh, for Audible. So you want to take a look at that. And it's such a it's such an easy listen and read because it's set in a narrative, which is really really great. Okay. And in this particularly, he talks about, um, and she talks about, but it's, it's a he character that is talking about this, so it's kind of a narrative, okay? Um, uh, okay, yeah, so that's that. I want to have us understand that when we don't go for no, and we're only going for yeses, okay? So we're scared, so we only reach out to the three people who might be interested this month, and we only reach out to them, we are severely limiting our potential. Okay. Let me give you a scenario on this real quick here. Okay. So let's say our goal is to hit success club five. Now, as you may know, and if you're a newer coach, that basically means to hit success club five, you're trying to help three people connect with a, what we call a challenge pack. So you guys probably understand that's a challenge pack is a, some kind of a workout program, including beach body on demand now workout program paired with a month's supply of Shakeology. That's what's called a challenge pack. When you connect somebody with that, you earn two success club points, okay? If you get three people to do that, that gets you to success club points for that month for six six uh, points in that month. So three people, three times two, six, okay? That minimally gets you to success club five. Success club five is where you then potentially get referral customers sent back to you from Beachbody who go on to beachbody.com and they say they order something like they want to order a uh, hip hop abs or they want to order 21 day fix just alone. You'll get that customer referred back to you. And then any future purchases that they might make, you would then get the benefit from that, which is pretty cool. It builds your customer base. It's kind of a cool thing. So what ends up happening guys is as you're building this success club as in, into your, into your scheme, of things that you're regular each month. The deal is, so let's say, I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say on average, I have an acceptance rate of about 10% of the people that I contact. Okay, 10%, let's just throw that out as an average. And that's probably a little bit undershooting it for me. But let's say for newer coach, maybe that's the beginning. 10% accept. So the goal is to get three people, right? Because we want to get to Success Club 5 minimally each month. That's, a, that's what a business builder does. So the goal is three people. So what do you have to do? You have to talk to 30 people, right? That makes sense. Three, three, 10% of, of 30 is three, and you're good, good to go. So here's the question. What happens if you're inviting, and the first three people that you talk to accept? Holy, I'm sorry, holy crap. That's awesome. You know, like you're in the first few days of the month and three people and they totally accept. Then what happens for most people? What happens? Yep. Mention it to anybody in the chat. Liz, Liz whispered it. It's all good. But they stop, right? You, you stop. Ah, made it. Got it. Whew. Yep. Stop inviting. Got it. All taken care of. And so... But the problem with that is, obviously, you're, you are limiting your potential. And I would say, what about all the other people who need our help? So you've limited yourself because you went for the yeses instead of going for the noes. Now, check out a different scenario with the same exact endpoint in mind. Potentially, still the goal. Yep, stop. why stop giving? Very good. So if 10% is, again, your acceptance rate, and the goal is three people, flip it over. Your goal is to get 27 no's, right? Same amount of people. Your goal is to potentially get 27 no's. What happens? Maybe you start to increase your acceptance ratio, and maybe you get five people, and you hit Success Club 10. That could be cool. That starts to in increase your potential for our coaches coming forward. You've got more people in your challenges. You've got more people creating energy in your business. And that's what we want because this is an energy-based business. If pe people feel like something is happening, guys, in your business, do you think they're going to be more apt to join it? Right? If something's happening and you're 
being somewhat of a catalytic leader. I did a call back while when I was uh, hosting calls for Team Symbiotic about being a catalytic leader, being that spark, being that person who is, is the, the energizer bunny. I would say Liz is an energizer bunny. She pretty much is. She, let's see, kind of looked, yeah, looks like it. All right. Um, but being that catalytic leader and, and getting that, but going for those no's in order to build your business. So rather than going just for the yeses, it really changes everything in your business. It changes everything. And guys, I will say that this is sort of, now I wouldn't say I've done it exactly like, like made it so like specific in terms of building like the idea of like having a no goal each month, but I'm actually really starting to think about what that looks like and how to make that more practical in my life. So I can go for no, maybe two to three times per day. Then ultimately I've actually, or I'm sorry, going for let's say 10 times per day. Then I'm actually going to be at more apt to get my two to three people that are, are going to be somewhat interested than I can follow up with the next day. You know, if I'm looking at a maybe 20 to 30% ratio of slight interest, you see, and then we move forward from there. Okay. So what we really want to do is make the idea of no fun. We want to make no fun because then when we kind of disengage the negative emotion. So here's the truth. Our bodies are wired for protection against things that danger us or endanger us. Okay. Our bodies are wired for it. So we'll resist that. So bad emotion equals bad things. Okay. So if we feel bad about being rejected, what happens? We tend to associate that with the nose. Yep. Let's say, uh, we learn how to not have the nose, get our mind down, bring us down. Just to realize building our confidence to talk to more people. Yep. Exactly. And so we start to then understand, Bailey, which is great you point that out, is that we are not trapped by the negative emotion. Because guys, truly, it is just a chemical response to a, an imaginary sense of what people are really thinking about you. And sometimes people really have this warped sense, and I've said this before, warped sense of what people are thinking about them all the time. It's like, so you mentioned th something about a challenge, and they say no. In a lot of coaches' brains, especially new ones, they go, oh my gosh, they, every time they see me now, the only thing they're going to think about is that I'm out to just give, sell them psychology. That's it. That's all it is. And all I did is say, hey, we got a new challenge coming up next month. I wonder if you'd like to hear a little bit more. That's all you asked in the beginning. And then suddenly they transpose it into, oh my gosh, they think I'm this salesy, awful person. It's like, no, you're generally often offering value. And over time, consistency with this and follow up long term will show you genuinely care and the people that i started off with who were my most adamant no sayers honestly guys as i went this two star diamond this last i am kidding you not two star diamond i get this i got my support post from david my my coach i had people coming out of the woodwork who were the naysayers finally say hey great job dan congratulations on the hard work you, you, you deserve it. You, you've been putting that effort in and I can see that you care. You see? So enough no's, you know, going for the no, it will, it will, it will change, change over in the long run. Okay? So instead of having an outcome-based limit, okay, instead of an outcome limit, you have an in input-based goal. So you're putting more, the no's is basically saying, I'm going to put more people into the system and get more no's versus the outcome, which is the three. Okay? That's really, really important, guys. So if you can look at that, whatever your goal is. So maybe it is a Success Club 10 situation. Maybe you want to be in the five, five, minimally five-person club. Then you're going to have to base your goals each month and each week. I would break it down. And then all the way to each day, what that kind of looks like and what your power hour has to play in this. So let's break it down, guys. Back to the, the micro level on this. Really, really important. I want you to understand that as we're going for no, and like we say here just to get this book, is that if you have a no goal each day, or sorry, for, for your month, break it down into the weeks and break it down then into your days, you will be then able to work your power hour that much better with that much more focus. And honestly, make it fun. 
Make it fun to say, hey, yep, got one, got another, got a third one. Okay, I'm going to go for 10 today. Got 10 no's. Great. But here's the cool part about that. Generally, those no's, like I said before, are not no's forever. And you always follow up. They say, no, I'm not interested. You can say, hey, can I follow? We do these every month. Can I follow up next month? Absolutely. I've, I'm telling you, 99% of the time, I've had people, they, they, will, they will always say, Sure, okay, yeah, put me on the list for next time, especially if they've shown any interest, okay? This is especially with your free challengers. And if you want to, and if you want to build this business, if you're an all-in coach, and we've mentioned that idea of that being like the discount coach, the hobby coach, or the all-in. If you're all-in, start at your list. Start breaking down that list and who you've got. You've got your 30 people. You start breaking through on that list, and you start asking, okay? That's going to be your job if you are all-in. Okay, and go for no is going to help you desensitize the brain to being to, to be uh, risk or um, fear averse to the idea of someone saying no to you. Okay, this great quote from the book failing and becoming a failure are two very different things. Successful people fail eagerly while failures avoid failing. Okay, it's the whole point, guys. If you never risk big, you never gain big. Okay, if we never step out of our comfort zones, if we're always playing it safe, if we're always wanting to make sure that everybody likes us and everything's always at a, at a peaceful level. And especially, guys, here's the thing. When you're dealing with health and fitness, sometimes it's a difficult thing because, you know, you're asking people to not only change, say, like a financial habit like other, some other companies. So, honestly, if you're selling Tupperware, what is, you know, is there a major sacrifice in terms of your life, how you live your life? Not as much. Yeah, you may have to structure your time in order to be able to devote your power hour, I guess, as such to you know, developing your business, say, with Tupperware. But when you're doing Beachbody, you've got to develop, you've got to not only devote that time to your being a coach, but also to your personal side of being a better, uh, being a better product of the products that we use, which means you've got to work out. You've got to drink your Shakeology and you've got to watch what you're eating. So it takes a little bit more work, but it's why I believe in this so much. This is so bigger than just some kind of a company where we're just selling stuff, guys. We're transforming lives physically and then also financially because we're starting to see that every day, okay? Really, really great stuff. One more quote from Mr. Tom. Tom Edison, you guys, if I haven't failed. I just found 10,000 ways that won't work. So he kept pushing in order to find, and literally his invention of, of, of the light bulb was I believe it wasn't 10,000 specifically for that, but it was a thousand ways to try to build that light bulb before he finally found the solution that literally has re revolutionized um, the Western world. I mean, truly, uh, well, uh, the whole world, okay? So that's really, really great. Question, what do you call a no response when you Facebook message over and over? You can tell it's only because they do not check those. There is no timestamp. That's a good question. So uh, maybe find another avenue to connect. Maybe there's a texting way. Maybe there's a email way. Maybe there's a, I don't know if it's in person, we able to see them. Uh, Twitter kind of, I mean, I don't know. Any, any other potential way to, to do a comment on a post, that's good. Um, especially if they're, because sometimes Facebook Messenger is goofy, guys, really just saying your, your notifications. And a lot of people still are in that kind of old school way of saying, oh, Facebook Messenger is of the devil because when it first released, right? Yeah, that's good. Post right to their page if you're a friend that's open game. Yeah, um, be careful what you post to their page. I would just say, so you're not, I'm not sure I would go, hey, Lindsay, did you see the offer? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. There's, I, so many people still think Messenger is the devil. Oh my gosh, the camera's going to return on me and they're going to see me wherever or whatever they've, or they're, you know, yeah. So it's, it is that crazy fangled interwebs. Yes. I hate them. It's them. It, they, uh, them hobbies is that crazy. Uh, anyway, I was wondering about that. Thanks, Lindsay. Very good. Um, any questions guys about this? Any questions about go for no? Cause guys really inviting is a skill that must be developed. So some people, I think, feel like it's like either I'm great at this or I'm not really good at this. And people see coaches who have been doing this for two to three years and they expect 
in one month to suddenly be at that level, okay? So I'm just saying, guys, Go for No is a tool particularly that you can use to develop your skills in how you approach people, giving you confidence and giving you that skill development that you need in order to, to genuinely help people. So we're not like kind of trying to use Go for No as this like, um, oh great, now I can pull one over on them really well because now I've got this awesome new skill of, to pull, pull a fast one on the people. Come on. That's totally, so let's see, Dan's right about the message topic through, just be like, yeah, hey, did you get my message? Yeah, absolutely. So that, that's, that would be the kind of the way to go when it comes to that. Um, it's discouraging to keep hearing when people say they want to but can't. Very good, Rex. We need to talk with you and really train you on proper questioning technique. Um, because I think we could, I think probably what we're, what you're doing is you uh, maybe not fully been trained in all, all of our questioning techniques yet. So I'll make sure that TJ has followed up with you on that. And if not, um, we can make sure that you get the proper training. There's an audio that's listed in the go team coach club in the file section. That's called, um, customer interview process. You can download that, uh, to your computer and listen to it. It's an MP3 file that is the schniz, um, in terms of helping you properly ask questions to your, um, uh, to your, to your potential customers, your, your prospects. Okay. That can really help you. All right. So it's skill that must be developed guys. Just want to tell you next week, no team call. It is Memorial day. And I want to make sure, uh, you get a time to spend with your family. And I don't want to put that pressure on everybody to feel like they like the guilty of, Oh my gosh, I'm not being part of the team. I'm team call. It's okay. Um, a lot of people are going to be in different locations, different places. Hopefully we'll have good weather, please Lord. It would be great. Um, and, uh, then so Memorial day, we'll, we'll get a chance to do that and, and, and celebrate that holiday. But then the following week, mm -hmm, I'm a special surprise guest. We've got coming, which will be great. I will be amazing. You with very good skills of inviting a very special guest to our party. So if you make this, I don't know why I'm talking in German. It's crazy. Um, but I will have ways of making them talk on the card. Um, but it'll be, it'll be awesome, guys. You're going to love it. Mm, you're going to love it. Okay? So just saying. Surprise guest. It's going to be great. Um, it's nobody from our team, just so you know. It's outside our team. It's going to be the schniz. It'll be great. Okay, so that's that. I um, want to tell you, so again, uh, June 1st is our next one. Totally. I've got Tony Horton and I've got Sean T and Autumn, all three together in my house, which is great. Uh, <laughs> they can come in case they don't have internet still and go over to Liz's and check out the ships. Oh, yeah. So that's going to be great. Uh, it does. It sounds a little bit mascara. You're right. Um, it's it's going to be fun. We'll have a great time. So June 1st, guys, is going to be at, also just so you know, we do have an overall team challenge group starting on June 1st. Invite, invite, invite. Just want to make sure you're aware of that. If you don't have a challenge group starting yet for June, this is a great pressure way to get people, in a good way, pressure. Timestamps help people have a deadline in order to order, okay? So the June 1st is set. If they can order basically by the 25th, good to roll. So this next week, you can be inviting towards that. Hope this is helpful, guys. You are awesome. Thanks for listening. Uh, if you have any more questions, let me know. Shoot them in the, very good, shoot them into the group. Please, guys, the other thing I want to mention in the group, it is, uh, absolutely, we're going to have music wow. this time. It's going to be amazing. And uh, where did the little thing go? It's right here. Oh, very good. Um, so we will have music for it. It's going to be great. Um, just make sure, guys, the group, if you have questions, feel free to ask them in the group. If you have, like, encouragement that you want to tell, stories that you want to tell in the group, that's great. If you have, like, a occasional motivational quote you want to share in the group, that's awesome. So please, that's way for you guys. Awesome. Just got Success Club 5. Great job, Mr. Tyler. Great work. And we're going to close it out with, oh, what do we got? Um, oh, we're going out. And you know what this is. The blaze of glory, baby. Is it there? No more Bon Jovi. <laughs>